Welcome to Hanoi. <laughs> Probably the noisiest city on the planet Earth, but also the most cozy and friendly. This is the first time I've been in Vietnam in 20 years since I came here to film Viva Vietnam for Comedy Central. On that trip, Hanoi was by far my favorite place. I'm thrilled to be back. I've got a show here tonight. Karate kick, baby. I don't think many comedians have come here to perform. Ha ha, Hanoi. Lyndon Johnson said the Vietnamese can stay in a ditch for seven days without food or water and still fight. And the American soldier can't be in a ditch for 20 minutes without needing a cigarette. Hey, thanks for supporting the boys, Lyndon. General Ziap said that as long as they don't bring machine guns, Americans will always be welcome in Vietnam. Before my show, I made a quick stop at the Vietnam Military History Museum. Here you can see Vietnam's course in the revolutionary struggle against foreign powers and the souvenirs they've acquired while destroying those foreign powers. The Vietnamese put spikes in the river when all these Chinese ships were coming down the Mekong River and it sank them. It was like a thousand years ago. These people have been kicking ass for a really long time. These people are clearly not to be fucked with. Ask the French and the Americans and the Chinese. Who haven't they fought? This is a Huey chopper. This is what my father flew in the war. He was shot down, saved a guy's life, got five medals. Eternal badass. It's getting closer to showtime, and my ride to the club is none other than the Indiana Jones of England. Actually, this is Dan Dockery. This motorcycle badass is the owner of the club where I'm performing tonight. Uh, it's probably my favorite thing, just driving around Hanoi. Huh? What's the biggest tourist mishap you ever had driving white people around Vietnam? Uh, taking uh, some delinquent from the States on a tour. <laughs> Yeah. Is, this, is this a Dan Dockery shortcut? That's a little shortcut, yeah. I guess you're on the road, yeah. What yeah. should a comedian know about performing here? <laughs> uh, she probably know that no one knows anything about stand-up comedy. Any topics to stay away from? <laughs> anything related to the government, politics, uh, social evils. Pretty much to the same thing, I guess. Sure seem to like uh, they get most of their humor from Korean shows and Chinese drama. Mr. Bean, they love Mr. Bean. Who does it? Beautiful. Karate kick, baby. <laughs> my opening act for the evening is Min Ha Pham. In my opinion, she's a comedy superstar waiting to happen. Her love of comedy is pure and she's from the most unlikely breeding ground for comedians. That's right, Hanoi. What makes, what, it's the noisiest street in, in yeah. Hanoi. No, why you know you're in Hanoi? <laughs> um, what made you want to become a comedian? Um, it just happened. I mean, I never thought that I would become a comedian. And I Googled how to be funny. And the first thing I saw on Google was Being funny is hard work. I already know that. <laughs> Thanks Google. How that such led me to stand up and I had no idea what stand up meant. In Vietnam back then, the, the only thing close to stand up was men peeing on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Which made me wonder, can a woman do stand up? <laughs> Or do I have to sit down? <laughs> what is the greatest advice you've ever been given as a comedian? If the audience hates you, fuck them. There's always people who love you and who hate you, even if you're over. Most comedians are men. Women are funny. They're not just, they're just not used to standing up in public to relieve themselves. <laughs> After Min Ha finished warming up the audience, it was time for me to take to the Vietnam stage for the first time in decades. 
I like hitting away because I think spitting is sexy. <laughs> Food as pho. How do you pronounce, please, end this argument? Pho. Pho. No, pho. Is, is that like a question mark? Question mark on top of the O? Pho. Pho. Like you bend your voice and you drop it very quick. Pho. 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 It's okay. It's a funny place, Vietnam, man. Come on, it's hard to keep a straight face when you ask somebody how many dong do you want for that. <laughs> Times are tough. You gotta stretch that dong, baby. What's funny about communism? The funny thing is, you like it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> My father fought in the Vietnam War. I'm just here to see if anybody <laughs> looks half like me. <laughs> What should the rest of the world know about Vietnam? We are positive people. We are opti optimistic about the future. We love uh, to laugh. The optimism of the Vietnamese audience was demonstrated early in my show when all the lights and sound abruptly cut out. But they were having too good of a time for the show to stop. I like Vietnamese people because they're happy. word I know is thank you, gamon, yeah, and uh, I tipped the, the guy money and I said gamon, and he looked at me and he said, happy today. Happy today. Like, I, I like uh, maybe... Okay. Have a good day. I think that's what he was trying to say, yeah, yeah. but happy today was uh, a much okay. nicer thing to say. <laughs> like, I am happy today. <laughs> Sound is on and everything. I think if I can become a comedian, given my starting point, a terrible starting point, I don't think anyone could not become a comedian if she or he loves it. Great. Well, I believe in you, Min Ha, Thank and you. I think you're going to do wonders in this business and it's going to be exciting watching your star rise. So thank you so much for being my friend. Thank you, so thank much. you for bringing me to Hanoi. I'm happy to find out that Vietnam still possesses the dynamic splendor that I fell in love with 20 years ago. And that it still has the long tradition of strong, powerful women in the form of people like Min Ha Pham. Only now, she doesn't do her ass kicking with a machine gun. She does it on stage with a microphone.